friends and neighbors that is a brief demonstration of how I might overhand uh, down pick great old bluegrass number called Ruby Ridge uh, before we get into all that let me just direct you to this link up here if you click on this link it'll get you to the tab for this so it'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks you got to pay every month it's a very low monthly payment but you get the tab for this and every other song that you see me teaching on this beautiful fine summer morning out here so first things first a uh, little bit of history behind the tune um, it is a bluegrass number it's a modern bluegrass number Peter Rowan who's a, a Yankee from Massachusetts or something but still a pretty decent guy uh, he uh, he wrote that song in the 1990s right after it happened Ruby Ridge was this uh, was a terrible massacre that happened in Idaho uh, in the early 1990s, I want to say it was 1992, so I was pretty young myself. I would have been about seven or eight years old when it happened. And uh, a bunch of federal agencies basically just descended on this, uh, some homesteaders, uh, you know, some religious whack job type people out in Idaho, and uh, they murdered the dog, the son, and the guy's wife. And so you hear all that in the song. Whatever. So how do we play this piece of music? The tuning, like typical bluegrass number, it's in standard banjo tuning, what's now standard banjo tuning, which is G, D, G, B, D. I'm tuned a good deal lower than that. I'll give you my exact tuning on my electric tuner here, if it'll turn on. Come on now, Betsy, there we go. E, B, E, G sharp, B. So that standard banjo tuning dropped way low so I can hit those nice bassy notes like I tell you a story uh, not long ago I on a mountain in Idaho so if I want to hit those low notes I got to drop tune anyhow okay how do we play the piece of music again if you just want the tabs go to that link up there give you the tab the, the basic rundown it's real simple y'all it's G C and D chords so on a G chord on the banjo is just open G. And then the C chord, y'all, everybody really should know the C chord if you're watching this. I imagine everybody knows the C chord on a banjo when it's tuned to standard tuning. Then you're gonna go to your full, your D chord. So, typical, just like, um, <laughs> it's just like boiling cabbage down or something. Um, incidentally, I was also, as I was figuring this tune out, I realized it's the same melody as some other folk songs we're all familiar with. One that popped into my head when I was learning it is Midnight Special. I'm not talking about the Creedence Clearwater Yankee version, but actual early field recordings of people playing Midnight Special, like Lead Belly, for example. Um, it's it's in the same tuning, same chords as this. Let's see if I could do it. Um, How does that song go? Ooh, well, here on come, Miss Rosie. And the world did you know? I could tell her by the apron and the clothes she wore. Umbrella on her shoulder, piece of paper in her hand. She's gonna tell the governor to turn loose her man. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special 
special shine a light on me. Okay, that's a major uh, sidetrack there, but just to show you all the kind of overlap that's in these, and maybe did did Peter Rowan even did he purposely copy the uh, you know the the tune and melody and stuff from Midnight Special, or did he just come up with that originally and not even know it was the same fucking tune? It's the beauty of the folk music, folks. Okay, so how do we play this song? You just saw me do it. I like to start on the third string at the third fret, and I do a, a quick slide from the third to the second. Then I'm playing the third string open, and I go immediately into my full C chord. So I'll tell you a story not long ago. And then you go back to your open G chord. High on a mountain, where did I go? Into the D chord. In Idaho, back to the G chord. In Idaho, C chord. You'll be living free, back to the G. But don't tell no shotguns to the deputy. Put your D and G there. thing to take away from this that's easy you all will come up with that if you can't figure that how to play that little ditty you need the tab you're gonna have to click on my link and get the tab but the thing the tricky thing for me on this tune it's real simple but what's different from say midnight special and all these others is peter rowan on his on his um and the, the chorus to that song it's the same it's the same as the melody verses to the song except when you go to the d chord he holds that out a little bit longer because he's got to fit in all those words. I got a wife and kids on Ruby Ridge. And then I like to do a slide. Please don't take me down. Please don't shoot me down. So normally you're just going, um, I tell you a story not long ago. I on a mountain in Idaho. You see how I held the D chord for a shorter period there? When he goes to the chorus, it's, um, don't shoot me down. Don't shoot me down. You're gonna hold it longer. I got a wife and kids on Ruby Ridge. Please don't shoot me down. Don't shoot me down. Don't shoot me down. I got a wife and kids on Ruby Ridge. Please don't shoot me down. That's really the only thing that might give you a hang up. It's you'll figure out the melody verse part real easy, the verse part real easy, but then when you go to sing the chorus over it, you realize it doesn't fit. And you, the, the trick is you got to hold that D chord for like another, you got to hold that D chord a little bit longer to get that. I got a wife and kids on Ruby Ridge, please don't shoot me down. Okay, folks, that's all I'm going to show you on that. Great piece of music. Again, hit us up, join us at the Patreon group. Get the tab for this.